Next is Dr. Uh, Kim Edward Mong Hong. Dr. Hong cared for and treated thousands of cancer patients throughout Newfoundland and Labrador during his 35 years as a radiation oncologist. He's perhaps best known for his compassion and outstanding commitment to his patients and their families. After completing his pre-medical education at Memorial University in 1961, Dr. Hong enrolled in the Faculty of Medicine at Dalhousie University in Halifax. He later completed his residency in general medicine in St. John's and in radiotherapy in Toronto. He obtained his fellowship and certification in radiation oncology in 1971, and since then he has treated and cared for thousands of cancer patients throughout the province. During his 36-year career as a radiation oncologist, Dr. Hong held such positions as Assistant Medical Officer in Come By Chance, Chair of the Department of Radiology at the St. John's General Hospital, Director of the Department of Radiation Oncology at the Newfoundland Cancer Treatment and Research Foundation, and Acting Director of Nuclear Medicine, among many others. He was also a consultant in radiation oncology for all major hospitals in the province, and he played an instrumental role in establishing oncology clinics in Cornerbrook, Grand Falls, Gander, and Buren. Dr. Hong retired in 2007. In addition to outstanding commitments to his patients, Dr. Hong is renowned for his extensive role in cancer research and his expertise in teaching medical staff, students, and nursing about all aspects of cancer treatment and care. He was appointed Clinical Assistant Professor of Radiotherapy at Memorial University's Faculty of Medicine in 1973 and later Clinical Associate Professor of Radiation Oncology in 1983. In 2000, the Newfoundland Cancer Treatment and Research Foundation established the Dr. Kim Hong Endowment Fund for continuing education opportunities for the staff of the H. Bliss Murphy Cancer Center and affiliated regional cancer programs. This fund honors Dr. Hong and the importance he places on advanced and continuing education for healthcare professionals. In 2008, he received the first ever designation of Honorary Lifetime Board Member of the uh, Dr. H. Bliss Murphy Cancer Foundation. And in 2010, he was the recipient of the Canadian Medical Association's Honorary Life Membership Award. Throughout his career, Dr. Hong has held memberships with more than a dozen medical-related organizations. He has also had a long association with the NLMA and was very active in medical politics during his career. He served as a member of the NLMA Salaried Physicians Committee and as a member of the NLMA Board of Directors, who's also included a seat on the NLMA Executive Committee. Some of his non-medical activities included involvement as the founding president of the Chinese Association of Newfoundland and Labrador, secretary treasurer of the Newfoundland and Labrador Multicultural and Folk Arts Council, the province's representative on the Canadian Consultative Council on Multiculturalism, say that twice, <laughs> and a board member of the Gower Street United Church in St. John's. In his spare time, he is an avid hockey and political junkie, and he enjoys playing the stock market and gardening. He and his wife, Amelia, have five children and are the proud grandparents of seven grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kim Edward Mong Hong. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for the honor and the award I give me tonight. Certainly without your help, I wouldn't have been here these 30 odd years that I've been associated with medical practice here in Newfoundland. Thanks again. Good night. And last but not least, Dr. Georgina Chalker. Originally from Notre Dame Bay, Dr. Georgina Chalker moved to St. John's where she was educated at Bishop Spencer College and Bishop's College. During the summer, she often visited Twillingate and hoped she would return someday to practice medicine. In 1968, she received her medical degree from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, and completed her rotating internship at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto in 1969. That year, she established a general practice at the Channel Cottage Hospital. In 1971, Dr. Chalker traveled to England where she held a post in the SHO surgery at the Royal Salop Infirmary in Shrewsbury. Sorry, John, I probably just destroyed that completely. <laughs> she returned to the province in 1973 to complete a surgical residency at Memorial University and in 1975 was received as a fellow in the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons. 
In 1976, Dr. Chaka returned to Twillingate, where she established a general practice that included general surgery and obstetrics at the Notre Dame Bay Memorial Hospital. From 1987 to 1994, she served, at the served as the hospital's chief medical officer. In 1998, she joined the Faculty of Medicine at Memorial University and served as an associate professor until 1994. With the regionalization of Twillingate Hospital in 1994, Dr. Chaka relocated to Clarenville and worked as a staff surgeon at the GB Cross Memorial Hospital. She retired from full-time practice in 1999, but continued to perform locums in Twillingate until 2007. During her career, she delivered more than 1,000 babies. Dr. Chaka was also very active in medical politics. In 1984, she served as treasurer of the Gander branch of the NLMA, from 1988 to 1990, she served on the NLMA Board of Directors. She also served as Vice President and President of Pern in the mid-1970s. From 1982 to 1986, she was a member of lar at large of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons Research Advisory Committee. She also served as a member of the Newfoundland Surgical Society, the MCP Medical Consultants Committee, and a longtime member of the Medical Advisory Board of the Newfoundland Cancer Society. Dr. Chalker has also been very involved in a number of non-medical organizations. She has served as chair of the Twillingate Library Board and chair of the Twillingate Museum Committee. She has also volunteered her time with the Girl Guides of Canada and since 1999 has been a member of the St. Thomas Church Outreach Committee and Food Bank. In her spare time, she enjoys knitting, sailing, and traveling. Dr. Chalker is unable to attend tonight's dinner because she's currently traveling in Scotland. She will receive her award at our board meeting in September. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring Dr. Georgina Chakra for her lasting impact on patients in Newfoundland and Labrador and the medical profession as a whole.